today's episode. How are you doing? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So today, Friday, Stockholm, Sweden. Sort of sunny, sort of not sunny. I'm about to get on my cross trainer, I almost said. No, I'm going to get on my bike and go into Söder, to Skanstul, where I'm going to meet Christian in about 30 minutes. Then we're going to go out. He's He's on a bike as well, and we're going to go to Sheratop, to Tur Teatern, uh, where we're going to meet up my son. So, you know, the three basketeers are together again. And then we're going to see a dress rehearsal of a show called, oh, Oi Entil. Oh, another one. Uh, that's uh, sort of, it's really, I, I, I really enjoy these. These are supposed to, they're, they're rehearsing in Stockholm, but then they're sort of, they're doing the show in Kalmar, which is a city in the south of Sweden. Uh, southeast of Sweden. Yeah. So, uh, fun times ahead. So, here I am at Skanstull outside the department store, or Lens, or as we say, Hemsch. Oh, sorry. Or Lens. Yeah, because it's backwards. That was funny. But 10 minutes early, the weather is sort of. Oh, is it gonna rain? Is the sun sort of going to break through? What's happening? So the two, oh look at that sky. Two ways that Christian can get here, either on Götgatan, which is that street, or this street, Ringvägen. Just texted, he'll be here soon, so I'm going to try to catch him in the act. I think he'll come this way from this Ringberger but you never know if he's been drinking and his sort of you know perception is muddled just for fun let's say if he comes from that way it's gonna rain and if he come from this way it's not gonna rain we're not gonna get wet in a way people it's not gonna rain or we're not gonna get wet I'm here you're queer here we are in Schertorp. It's a lovely area. Suburbia. Suburbia. <laughs> it's time for lunch and we found this place, Kokevrål. I think I've been here before, but it looked different, so it might be a new owner. So I ordered a sesame roasted tofu sort of salad. So, mm. my son just called. What did she say? She's not coming. Because? She forgot it. it was, she thinks it's it was tomorrow. Yeah. And how old is she? What? How old is she? I don't know. 67. 67. She says that was her excuse. Mm. I'm 67. <laughs> An elderly woman came up to me and said, you're you, Joachim, aren't you? And I said, yes. And they said, she said, my name is Silla and I'm a friend of Ulf's. We met years and years and years ago. I didn't recognize her. Thing is, she recognized me. I look exactly the same, obviously. Hello. <laughs> Are you excited? Are yes. you excitement? Yes, I'm excited. It's going to be very funny. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> And here we are at the theatre. Oh, that's us see. Second act is about to begin. This is high art.
Jättefint. Now it's time for some second hand, well, snooping mostly. So, it's kind of expensive in there. Time to go home, right? Yes. It's time to say goodbye. I'm going this way. He's going that way. Goodbye. Wouldn't it be great if I just could, you know, keep going? But I can't. Damn it. So I thought I'd talk a bit about the show. It was really, really, really funny. It's like a farce on steroids. It's, it's something you, you'd like to see it again because you feel like sort of, I missed. There's so much stuff I missed. And some people, well, they're all fantastic, but some of my favorite comedians are in this show. They're so good. They're so damn good. I'm tidying up after having painted. So, uh, off to the recycling centre we go. On a sadder note, not many people know this, but it's June. It's been June for about 14 days. Or 13 days. No, 14 days. It's been June for about 14 days. And one thing that we celebrate with June is June and tonic. And I have not had a June and tonic since the beginning of June. But that is about to change. In this glass, holds up glass, is four centiliters of gin and a big ice cube. It's this In this hand is tonic. It's called dust tonic. It's a Swedish tonic. I will now put the tonic into the glass with the ice and the gin. This is a rhubarb and lemon tonic. And this is me drink... Well, this is not me. This is my hand holding it. But, you know, the next clip will be me drinking it. This is a glass of gin and tonic and an ice cube and raspberry and lemon. This is my face and this is a gin and tonic about to go into my face. Oh. So good. I could live, well I couldn't, could I? But I, I was about to say I could live on gin and tonic alone, but, but no, that's impossible. But if I had to drink one drink the rest of my life, that would be water. But in second place, coffee. Third, gin and tonic. Mmm. Okay. This tonic, if you find it, buy it. It's just tonic. The end. Thank you for watching. Please share. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.